Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to simplify complex fractions. So, here are the steps in simplifying complex fractions. So, step 1. Multiply the numerator and the denominator of the complex fraction by the least common denominator. Step 2 is to simplify if possible. And now, let's proceed to our examples. Okay, so let's have an example. For example, we're given this a complex fraction. Now in this case, in this case, in order for us to simplify this, is we need to identify the denominator of our numerator and our denominator of our denominator. So here we have 3 and in our denominator we have 6. We need to get the least common multiple of our denominator. So, so our least common multiple is 6. So we need to multiply our numerator and denominator by the LCM which is 6 and then let's simplify okay so let's multiply so we will have 12x over 3 all over 30 over 6 let's simplify our answer so we will have 12 divided by 3 that is equal to 4x all over 30 divided by 6 that is equal to 5 and that will be our simplest form of the complex fraction that is given to us right, let's have another example for example we're given this complex fraction now first thing that we need to do is to identify our the denominator of our numerator and our denominator okay so we have x plus 3 and 5. Now let's get the least common multiple of our denominator. So our least common multiple is 5 times x plus 3. I'm not going to distribute this anymore because we're going to simplify it later. So we will multiply our numerator and our denominator by the LCM of our denominators. So, so 5 times x plus 3 and 5 times x plus 3. Okay, so next is let's multiply for our numerator. We can cancel x plus 3 and then 7 times 5 that is equal to 35. And for our denominator, we can cancel 5 and 5. And x plus 1 times x plus 3. So we have x plus 1 times x plus 3. Now this will be our simplest form. Or we can rewrite it in its expanded form. Which is 35 over x squared plus 4x plus 3. Okay. And that will be our final answers. Either this one or this one. Either way, they are just the same. Okay. Okay. So let's have another example. So for example, we're given this complex fraction. So first thing that we need to do is to identify the denominator of our numerator and our denominator. So encircle lang natin. Let's encircle the denominator that's present in our numerator and our denominator. We have 4 and 5. Let's get the least common multiple of our denominator. So we have 20. So we will multiply our least common multiple to our numerator and our denominator. Now in this case, please do not forget to distribute our to distribute 20 to each term. Okay? So when multiplying. So let's simplify. So we have 20 times 1, that will be 20. So plus, so 20 times 3 divided by 4, it is equal to 15 all over. So 20 times 2, it is 40. 20 times negative x, we have negative 20x over 5. We can simplify this. 20 divided by 5, we can have, or we have, 4x. And after that, let's combine like terms. We will have over 40 minus 4x. 
and that will be our simplest form. Now that you already know how to simplify complex fractions, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.